Okay, let's talk about Edmodo. Edmodo is a free site. They have made the promise that it will always be free. It is a place for you to create groups or classrooms for your kids online in a safe environment. Um, I recommend, if your system has not already done so, I recommend that you create a unique URL for your district. In doing that, it means that every school in your district is assigned a code. And that way, when kids go to join, they go to your URL and they cannot join uh, without a code. That puts them in the class where they need to be. So for our district in Knox County, we have knoxschools.edmodo.com. In the county that I was in before, it was bradley.edmodo.com. And if I come to Edmodo to this page and I click here on I'm a teacher, it's going to ask me right up here at the top for the school code. And so I have to have that in order to be able to join this URL. Okay, now, if I'm a student and I click to join, the first thing it asks me is for a group code. The uh, school code is to never, ever be given to a student. But when you create a group within Edmodo, it will generate a code. You give that to the student to join. So let's look inside. We'll log in here. And you'll see that Edmodo looks a lot like Facebook. And that's on purpose. It's, it's, a, it's a site that people are familiar with, they're comfortable with. They may like it, they may not like it, but it has that look and feel. So here are the things that I want you to notice as we look. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a list of groups. In my, in my instance, it starts with DE Assessment, moves down to DIN SI 212. Um, and if I show all of them, here are the groups that I have either joined or I've created. If it's a group that I have created, uh, let's just look here for Edmodo Training. Then you'll see on the right-hand side of the page, you will see uh, the group code. I have that blurred out so that not everybody just decides to join after seeing this video. Uh, but I have that group code there, and that's what I give to people if I want them to join this particular group. Underneath that, you'll see some other settings, uh, the group settings, there's some advanced options, those kinds of things um, that I can look at. But I want us to look specifically at the center of the screen for a moment because there are two or three or four things that we can do with this group as we talk to students. First of all, um, you'll see here that I have posts. I can post things just like a status update on Facebook or a tweet on Twitter. If I click in here to type, you'll see that I can, I can write a post. It can be fairly lengthy if that's what I want. Um, you will see that I have the, uh, the ability underneath it to either attach a file. That could be any file type up to 100 megabytes. Uh, I can attach a link if I want to go out to a YouTube video or a PDF file that's on another site or I can link it to a file that I've saved in my library. This is one of the things that I love about the Edmodo site is that the library is unlimited space. Dropbox, you have unlimited file size, but you have a limited amount of space. Uh, with Edmodo, any file under 100 megabytes, which is a pretty good size file, you can store a million of them if that's what you need to do. Hopefully you'll never have that many files. Um, so I can link to my library. I can either send it now or I can schedule it to be sent at a future date, but I have to specify who it's going to. In this case, because I'm the owner of the group and I'm in this group, it defaults to the Edmodo training group. I could click and send it to this group and three other groups at the same time if that's what I wanted to do. I'm not limited to just one. But I have to specify it. That way, nobody gets spammed. Okay. Now, as a teacher, I have the ability to interact with teachers around the world. I can connect with any teacher that, that will connect back with me, and we can have conversations, private conversations, one-on-one -on -one if we want to. We can join each other's groups, those kinds of things. But students, students are only allowed to post to the group as a whole or to the teacher. There is no back channel, private conversation, private messaging between students. Nothing there for teachers to have to monitor. Anything they post, the teacher will see. And it will be under their name, not a pseudonym. 
So the other thing that I can do here is I can also post an alert. And you'll see with an alert, I'm limited to 140 characters and I cannot add any kind of files. And the reason for that is in the settings, I can set up to receive alerts to my cell phone so that if I have a last minute message that I need to get out to all of my students and I've told them to set up their alerts either to an email or to a cell phone, they will get it and they'll get the entire message. If I want to remind them about a test or if I want to talk to them about a snow day or that I'm going to be out, a sub's going to be there tomorrow, those kinds of things, send out an alert, it will arrive in total complete. I can also create an assignment in Edmodo and with assignments, it, it allows me to have a due date. And so it will tell students, you have this assignment, this is what the assignment is, here are all the files you need, here are the URLs you need to go to, this is what I need back from you, and here's your due date. And then it will tell them when they are past due. Edmodo will remind them, you have an assignment that's one day past due. You will also get notification, six students are late. No more having to remind them, having to go behind their back, talk to them, follow up, find them in the cafeteria, all that kind of stuff. It's all just out there where Edmodo takes care of all that for you. I can also create a quiz in Edmodo. And the quiz, I can do multiple choice quizzes. I can do true-false quizzes. I can do short answer, essay, whatever. Most other quiz sites will let you do. It will save my quizzes. It will save all of my questions individually. I can go back next year, pull that same quiz in, or mix and match questions to make a new quiz that I've already done. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. Those are just some of the things that are available in Edmodo to do with students. So you create a group, you put your students in the group, then you can start to interact with your students. There is an app for the iPhone, there's an app for the iPad. I don't recommend using the app for the iPad. I recommend just coming to the site. It's much more user-friendly. But for the iPhone, students can access information on their phone anytime, anywhere, 24-7. So if you've flipped your class, you've got instruction online, those kinds of things, Edmodo is a good place to go. If you want to create quizzes that are automatically graded and give you results without having to carry a bunch of papers home, Edmodo is a great place to go. And we'll talk about some other uses of Edmodo in the classroom when we come back from the break. Okay, so obviously if you're still with me, you're thinking about how can I use Edmodo in my class? Well, here are a few things that I've seen done. First of all, uh, not only can you create a class with your students, but you can also contact a teacher at another school in another country, if that's what you want to do. And you can join those two groups into one group for special projects. Um, and so now you can have students in Tennessee talking with students in France um, or students in Illinois. And they can work on video projects together, writing projects together, PowerPoint projects together, research projects together. And the beauty of it is, if I click here on members of this group, and it brings up all of the things that I, all the members of this group, I have the ability also to create small groups within this group. So that if I have, if I'm going to put five students together in a small group, I can come in here and create a small group for those five students where they can share with information. Again, they're posting to all five, not just one, all five. I see all of that, but nobody else in the class needs to see that. So every group, every subgroup that I've set up can work on projects on their own separately, share files together, share information, share research, have access to it, and they're not just sitting in a classroom collaborating, but now they're collaborating in the real world, sitting at Panera or Starbucks or at home on Saturday watching cartoons, whatever age group you have. If I just click on small groups, it will allow me to create another group of students. Now think about that if I've combined my class with a classroom in another school, because now I can set up small groups of two kids from my class and two kids from another class or three and three into a small group together where they can collaborate in real time or they can collaborate anytime they're online to create these projects together. So Edmodo gives me a safe place to be able to collaborate with other classrooms besides my own. Um, another thing that uh, Edmodo will do as well is, as I've already said, it will allow me to give assessments that students can take online 
and it will automatically grade things for me. And I don't have to take a bunch of papers home. Um, I, can, I can take care of all that online. Now the grade that it gives will be posted in Edmodo. That does not mean that it's posted automatically to my online grade book at school. So I have to do both of those. But a student can see automatically, here's the grade I got on this quiz. The beautiful part of it is that for every student that creates an account, there is also a unique code for a parent or guardian. So especially in elementary grades, um, parents can log in to their Edmodo account and they would see their student and the teacher. They don't see any other students in the classroom, but they would be able to see all the assignments given, all the quizzes given, all the grades that are there, missing assignments, uh, and, and the teacher and the parent can have private conversations by sending messages back and forth to one another within Edmodo. Um, in addition, um, one of the things that we're doing uh, now at my school is we are using the Edmodo library to house pictures. We are a one-to-one -one iPad school in high school and we've started a photography challenge across the school and each week we give them a theme and they send us pictures that they're taking with their iPads and we put those in a special group in Edmodo that all the kids have access to. They don't have to sign up, but they can. And they have images by theme stored in folders in the library so that they can go find images for their presentations where at school, uh, things like Google search for images is blocked. So we are creating our own images with our own students and uh, we have several that are involved and they're loving that process at the moment. Again, the, another beautiful part about Edmodo is the library feature and the library feature is unlimited file space and I can upload any kind of file type that I want to share with my students and I can put those in folders and the folders will appear down the right hand side of the screen in the group uh, so that students have access to those folders and the information that's in there. So I can share PowerPoint files, video files, Word documents, pages documents, Excel sheets, uh, you name it, I can share it, images, other kinds of things that students would need. I can put it all in one place and let them work from there. So that's a little introduction to Edmodo. There are a ton of other reasons or other ways that you can use Edmodo in the classroom. Far too many to go into in this video and I've already talked way too long. So I hope that you will sign up for Edmodo, get your district, if they have not already created a URL, get your district to create a URL, even if you have to be the person responsible for giving out the codes to everybody else. Um, get that done, get online, try out Edmodo and see what you like, see what you think. And we will uh, look for some comments under the video to see what you think about it. Until next time, enjoy surfing the web.